I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. There's errand. That looks like he's had a few. In our mood. That broken ribs will do that to you. Right. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates, then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open, once the Tanakh have left. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Commander, better brace yourself, and good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! 
Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Vara. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's Orders. happening? Orders. I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut? in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. To this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. 
Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Fighting machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Sirens. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Archers! 
like that. Better scan it. I 
I can break through his shield if I damage it enough. Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades, mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out. Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Fashav. A massacre. 
What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I'd need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regal's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Stash this away for later. The woman who led the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. The silence. But what's his angle? I helped to knock the rebels.
That's taking over the land out here, too. Something's going on at that camp. Slow down the Pharaoh Swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know, after that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. 
Well, let's hope not. Some of the sweat. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. like the coordinate silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? There's a lot to explore down there. I don't know what I could find. This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. Workshop underneath a dead forest titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk.
Some kind of red crystal. The device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead. A perfect cage for our mutual friend, he is. thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. He can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. I'll keep some extra on hand. <laughs> so here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. Crazy AI that wants to kill everything. You couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? Well, now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self righteous bull. Thank you. 
I can get it from my stash later.
must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Always gonna have extra. 